children are so used to experiencing other people's creativity through screens and computer games and all of these things that are going on that they're not using their own creativity. They're not learning what they have inside of them. Coming here is a complete respite from the world of technology. There's this phrase that was coined by Richard Louv, nature deficit disorder, and I think part of our current society certainly lends itself to nature deficit disorder in a lot of ways. So we, we are trying to constantly counter that and give children the exposure that a lot of us grew up with and might have even taken for granted. The only way that you can really develop a passion for anything is if you know about it. So. We try to develop that passion. The outdoors is our classroom. The kids, they want to go catch frogs and looking under rocks and logs for um, whatever animals and bugs and insects that they can find. The children can't get enough of being exposed to all of our live resident animals. One of my favorite things is to watch their confidence grow throughout the week. Healthy risk-taking is a huge part of what we do here, and we're very trained how to do that with children, how to let them test what their bodies can do. One of our goals is to be able to reach a little bit farther out and pull kids in who may not even realize that this opportunity is even possible. But it's tough when when there's nothing there to offer or when a big pile of scholarships that are waiting to hear from us and, you know, to see if, if they can have this opportunity and we don't know how to answer because we don't have anything there. If we can build that and make that, make that a little more certain for people and then be able to reach out a little bit farther and make it happen for, for children who might not even know it exists, that's part of our goal. I've seen what the opportunity to be in this environment has done for children who otherwise would not have the opportunity. It really and literally changes lives of young people.